Mr. Chairman, I'd like to yield three minutes to a valued member of the subcommittee, the gentleman from Arkansas, Mr. Womack. The gentleman is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and, and uh, thanks to my chairman of this uh, very important subcommittee for giving me the opportunity to speak on behalf and even a uh, friendly gesture to my friend from New York down there who uh, reminds me from time to time about uh, the Yankee dominance in baseball, and it's great to have his association on, on this committee. But, Mr. Chairman, um, our subcommittee is aware of our nation's fiscal situation, and we closely evaluated the budget request for the diverse group of agencies funded in this bill. We held numerous hearings. We listened to the agencies about their priorities and needs. We challenged them with tough questions that reflect the realities of the choices we as appropriators have to make on a daily basis. Using this information, Mr. Chairman, the subcommittee produced a bill that provides a little over $21 billion in total funding and sees to it that every agency funded under the bill can carry out its core functions. Take, for example, our federal courts, which because of this bill will have the resources they need to ensure that our courtrooms are safe and justice is served. Or the Small Business Administration, which will be able to make entrepreneurs' dreams become a reality, leading to new business, more jobs, thriving communities, and a 21st century economy with the funds that the agency receives through this legislation. Mr. Chairman, as members of Congress, and especially as appropriators, we have an obligation to carefully steward each and every taxpayer dollar. And in this bill, transparency and accountability rule the day. In this bill, the CFPB, an agency that is operated in the shadows with unfettered power and no accountability, is brought under the appropriations process. Agencies, Mr. Chairman, that have violated the public's trust and misused taxpayer dollars, such as GSA and the IRS, they are held accountable. As an example, the IRS budget is returned to below fiscal 2008 levels, ensuring the agency does not have extra funding to target Americans based on their political beliefs without hampering the IRS's ability to enforce our nation's tax laws. In closing, Mr. Chairman, I commend Chairman Crenshaw and the subcommittee staff for producing a bill that is worthy of this chamber's support. I urge my colleagues to join me in supporting this important legislation, and I yield back my time.